Prince Andrew has been spotted for the first time since Jeffrey Epstein accuser Virginia Roberts Jufri filed a lawsuit against him. In photos obtained by multiple outlets, the Duke of York was seen on Tuesday arriving at Balmoral Castle, the Scottish estate where his mother, the Queen, is vacationing for the next few months. Prince Andrew drove a Range Rover onto the grounds, and his ex-wife Sarah Ferguson was in the back seat. It's unclear how long the prince intends to stay in Scotland. His visit comes just one day after Jufri's attorney filed a civil complaint against him under the Child Victims Act. Jufri has long claimed that Epstein trafficked her to Prince Andrew when she was a minor, and that she was forced to have sex with the royal on three separate occasions. The complaint revealed that the damage done by the alleged abuse has been, quote, severe and lasting. In a statement following the filing, Jufri said in part, I am holding Prince Andrew accountable for what he did to me. The powerful and rich are not exempt from being held responsible for their actions. I hope that other victims will see that it is possible not to live in silence and fear, but to reclaim one's life by speaking out and demanding justice. Jufri added that filing the complaint was not an easy decision, saying, As a mother and a wife, my family comes first, and I know that this action will subject me to further attacks by Prince Andrew and his surrogates, but I knew if I did not pursue this action, I would be letting them and victims everywhere down. Prince Andrew has long denied Jufri's allegations, and has maintained that they have never even met. In an interview with BBC Two in November 2019, he claimed all of the alleged sexual encounters, quote, never happened, and said, I have no recollection of ever meeting this lady, none whatsoever. He also said he couldn't explain an alleged photograph of the two of them, saying, I have absolutely no memory of that photograph being taken. A media representative for Prince Andrew had no comment when contacted by NBC News's foreign desk on Monday regarding the lawsuit.